things and uh, it's, it's really nice. And sometimes people don't come because they are afraid of uh, uh, I want to be beautiful, want to be good. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a pity because nobody's seeing this. Everybody sees the, the good parts of yes. your work. And uh, I've learned the most from the happy accidents. The things that I didn't realise were going to happen. And I like the low stakes nature of it all where you can actually try something new and not be bothered about criticism. Exactly, yeah. But if you say to everybody, I don't know to do, it's the best way to, to do. Because if you say, I know, I, I, I know it, I have to be beautiful, I have to do, no, I don't know. So everything is, is good. Yeah. And if yeah. they come from that, yeah. <laughs> That's um, watercolour yeah. with some permanent ink pen. Ah, right. Did you go in with ink first or after? Uh, pencil first, yeah. then a wash, then ink. That's lovely. Thank you. How did you manage to do that so quickly? <laughs> I just want to get it down because there's just so many beautiful things to paint. Yes, it's, it's really a very good sight. We've been looking at the lovely. weather today. Beautiful. And we all wear stylish hats at Urban Sketches. <laughs> it's got to be done. Got to protect, protect your head from either the sun or the rain. Yes, definitely. Because uh, I find wearing sunglasses distorts yes, things. Yes, the colours. So a nice big peak actually yeah. kind of shades your eyes, doesn't it? Without adding any cast to the um, to the actual sketch. Yeah. Brilliant. Where are you going next? Uh, just the now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I always end up with that many bags and yeah. things on me. And yeah. It, but you get yourself into a rhythm eventually, don't you, about yes. what you want to bring yes. once you get to know what's going on. And I think sometimes less is the best. Yes, definitely. Because otherwise you end up carting loads of stuff around and you can't use it. And so. you take too long to make a decision. Yeah, then. and that's why I just wanted to throw some paint on. And it's a right scruffy mess, but at least... At least it's got something on the page. Yes. And yes. that's what I need to get the page covered, otherwise I get like, oh god, I don't know what to do. Well you say scruffy, I say energetic. I like it. <laughs> Ow, I love my energetic work. Thank you. It's always good to have someone else's perspective on it. It's your work. good, isn't it? Yeah. Because I th I get too close to mine. Yes. That's why I take a photograph of mine and, and then I can view it almost third party. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's, it's very strange, but I, I see something different when I take a picture of it. Do you know, so. I might do that now, actually, that's a good call. Yeah. Actually, I would crop it, but it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, I'd take that tree off the right-hand side and just have... Yeah, that's a good top tip. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I don't know whether it's a... A, a perception issue, you know, because we're always more critical of our own work than we are of others, aren't we? Yes. And um, I find that if I take a picture, it just one step removes me from it, and then I start seeing things I never saw before. I've, I've just literally noticed that I've got a line going up there that I didn't plan, but actually I don't mind it. Yeah. Do you always go in with pencil? I'm occasionally it's pen but yeah. I'm not very brave so yeah. I always think I've got that little safety net if yes. I start with pencil. Yeah. I've just been speaking to Helly down there and she went straight in with pen and I was like, oh, that's a brave Yeah, I have, I have done it with me. Sailor, you know, the food aid pen. Yes. That's brilliant. Yeah. And what I was doing on there, and again, you know, I'm not very precious about me, me work. Um, I was trying different pencils to oh, see. Oh, yeah. So you make notes on the side yes. as well. Because it's a learning experience as well as producing beautiful pictures. Yes. Um, and to see which looks good on the paper and to see which is easy to rub out as yeah. well. A lot of people do catalogue and make lots of notes, don't they? Because that's kind of their, this is their practice. Yeah. I should do more. Those angles look really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, those going... Yeah. And you, you need more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three days. Because they're interesting, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Because there is a lot in there, actually. I mean, I wanted to do all of that, but I realised I could do about that much, yes. if anything. And there was a canal boat. Yeah. And there's some angles that are out, I know, already. Now. Yeah. Two hours is just... 
thing is, it goes quickly, doesn't it? You mm -hmm. think to yourself, oh, can I spare two two hours? But it goes so quickly. Yes. That uh, <laughs> you yeah. think, oh, wow, where did that time go? And if you see other people's, you can see people who, like, she picks out certain features. Yeah. But others are just... Yeah. And it's, it's figuring out which ones are important, That's isn't it? That's it, yeah. Yeah. So, but the skill develops as you go, doesn't it? Just going with suggestions of something being there to more yeah. deep interest in a particular area. Yeah. Um, well, wherever it, there was a boat. Somewhere. Did you hear the boat? Yeah. The mute. I just yeah. thought this is magic. Yeah. So I had to sit in the sound of that boat, oh, and then lovely. he's gone off, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you know. have, have you done it long the sketching? I, I came last year, oh. um, and I thought, well, I've never really been into drawing um, things. I've only been, I only do life drawing, um, and I'm not into landscapes and urban scapes. But since I got into it, because the life drawing class stopped, yeah. I have absolutely loved it. Well, and I realised we had so, so many amazing buildings. Yeah. You just have to look up, don't you? And when you yeah. are sketching, you observe things much more deeply. I actually got the yeah. brush show out and thought that today in this windy day would somehow be suitable. Yes. <laughs> I came to my senses, I put it back. I don't know what I was thinking. I think if you're not far from your car, you can afford to be a, bring everything, can't you? My car is, is, is a thing that's been in the Bringing the pencils and a water brush. Yes. Just to make it... Um, I haven't tried one of those water brushes yet. Are they, are they good? No, oh, they are. They make things a bit sort of pale, really. But, you know, that's the colours. It's getting the amount of colour. Yeah. And you can either put it direct onto the brush and then you think, oh no, that's too much. Yeah. Or just pencil and that's what I've been doing today. I've just been oh, colouring in and then just I've just finished off. I stopped here because the stairs weren't very good. Oh. <laughs> I love your trees, they're great. So really stylised that. Well, I, I don't like doing trees and so um, Karen suggested, we, I looked on YouTube yeah. at urban sketching yeah. um, videos. So I was having a look at Alfonso Dunn and people oh, like that. that. Yeah. So um, he'd sort of gone, oh, just do the shape and then just do this and circles and things, you know. So yeah. I've tried to take that on board. So trying a little bit harder. There's loads of YouTube videos, isn't there, to help out um, if you're not sure what to do to begin with. Absolutely. I mean, it's the main Urban Sketchers website, urbansketchers.org, um, and they've got some videos and some rules, you know, there are bits and pieces on there. Yeah. But then if you type Urban Sketchers into YouTube or Urban Sketching, yeah. you'll get loads of returns. Yeah. And you can waste whole days. <laughs> Going down a rabbit hole. Going through, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. 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 And I find that's helped me because I've got a certain way of doing things and I like to draw buildings. Yeah. But when it comes to nature, when it comes to trees and things, that's what I'm really struggling with. And so learning from somebody else how to approach the shapes has just made it easier yeah. for me. So, so yeah, not that's nearly dark enough yet. If you have a look at the view that I'm looking at. But it can it can take on its own style, can't it? I mean, you don't have to be super realistic with this. If you, you know, a picture worthy of your time is not always super realism. But there's quite a few people who do super realism, isn't there? There is. I mean, if you want to do a realistic and good painting, then spend the time at home. Yeah. You're here for a couple of hours. You get immersed in one thing. Yeah. You know, and. You can just draw, and I find sometimes if you draw quicker, you'll get the gestural marks, yeah. and it will actually make it more dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you haven't put everything in, yeah. then, you know, at least you can actually see what it is, yes. and there's a little bit of movement. Yes, I there. agree. I, I started um, enjoying the final result of my work when I started considering gestures rather than getting it exact exactly um, yes because it's all about the context that we're at but we don't have to be photographic about it oh no um, no i mean it's what a lot of the time i find it's what it means to you and if you're moved by an image like that and you think that's lovely i love the terracotta tile yes yeah it's really nice so if you just have a go 
draw what you like, yeah. then that will come across in the painting yeah, that's in it. the picture. I agree. The colours of this um, sort of architecture is quite lovely, isn't it? I like how they've matched it to what it was before. And they've done quite a good job of blending the, the old and the new, the, the replacement. They really have, you can see the old ones. Yes. But then actually these new bits are... They're not They're obtrusive, are they? Match. Yeah. And it's just such a lovely, ornate, old-fashioned sort of thing. Yes. Really good. I was surprised at how many old, very old, mature trees there are here. They've got some fabulous weeping willow specimens, some really lovely ones um, that, you, I, to be honest, I just didn't realise were here. Um, but we're not far from the road, so it's kind of slap bang in the middle of the city, really, isn't it? It's like any city, you've got these sort of little green rooms. Yes. But these, this park has been here for years, hasn't it? Yeah. I don't know when the park was first laid out, but some of, like I say, some of the trees are so mature. Yeah. But you can see also they've spent time around the canal yeah. to put you know, the architecture yeah. and that around. And the it. wild bits where the, the insects can really start to yes. thrive again. It's fantastic how they've done it, actually. Yes, yes. And everybody focuses on the pavilion, but then you see things like that. And thankful. Are you sketching on lino there? Yeah. Are you just going to become a, a block print? Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely. fantastic. Yeah. yeah, we're really getting into over lockdown. Yes, so, yeah, block printing. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's some um, amazing YouTube videos on block printing where they're not using your traditional presses. They're just using pasta machines and things yeah, really? like that. Yeah, it's quite easy. Sketch out now and then cut out later. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you've rocked up and just using what you've got. Yeah, I think this is from Iro. Oh, <laughs> is it a Biro? Yeah. Oh, wow. I just, I don't know, you know, when you're not organised at all. Never mind. Those are the times when you can surprise yourself the yeah, most, though. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I think this is one of my children's. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we use those at school for marking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God, don't talk about that. <laughs> Green and pink pen. Oh, yes. Oh, this is the purple section. Just a felt tip pen. And actually, uh, this stuff that I've got from the children's. That's great! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just. I haven't really got much time to do anything, so I'm just, uh, you know, doing some. This is a perfect setup, actually, isn't it? It's a flat surface because normally these are sort of curved, yeah, aren't I they? Yeah, I know. I thought that. I was like, oh, and I was going to do. It was when the barge was here. But oh I yeah. I should have drawn that first. <laughs> obviously, it would be. But, but thankfully, I hadn't started drawing it, so I just left it. Yeah. But yeah. So you're using the brush pen. The water brush. Oh yeah. Perfect for me because less things to bring. Yes. <laughs> but these ones are really cheap, and they just leak out the. The join, yeah. Um, so they're not the best. So I, I knew when I bought them that I'd be getting what I paid for. Really, I was being stingy. I should just pay a bit more and get the good ones. But <laughs> I'm save a bit of money. All you need now is your lunch and a picnic, and you'll I be know, set up. I know. I did think about bringing a picnic actually. But... Your palette's interesting. Where's that? What's that from? Is it homemade? This one. Yeah. No, it's a. Uh, um, is it Winsor and Newton? Oh, I right. know oh, Dana Rowney. Oh, I love the shape. Yeah, it's quite handy for taking out, really. Yeah. And it's nice and slim. Yeah, it's a perfect little spot, this. It's kind yeah, of it in the corner. Not too many people. Mm -hmm. Finishing touches now, really. Yeah. I think everyone's lost track of time. <laughs> I know, it's gone so quick. Today. It's good to be out and about again, though. It really is. I've missed, I have missed that. I mean, I've been out probably a couple of times and done lots of the garden and things, but it's not quite the same as just it knowing that lots of other people have are out doing it as well, it sort of That's it. creates more of an atmosphere it? It, Yes, it's an atmosphere and it adds, it gives me more confidence because it's quite, I'm quite shy really, so going out and sketching in public 
and then people coming up and talking to me, I get very, very shy. It's not a big deal, isn't Whereas it? Whereas if you're with a group of people, it, it, I don't know, it just makes me feel more confident, really. It kind of validates it. It but does. Like, I'm here for a reason. <laughs> that's it, actually. That's a, the perfect word. It's nice to see how busy this park is, though. It really is, because, like I said before, this was the, the work was done on it. Hardly anyone used to come, and I was always amazed because it's, you know, a park in the middle of town with a play area and yeah. should be perfect for families. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. Now it's. Oh, oh my God, that's lovely. I didn't realise you'd done them in Constantine and Stepford. You can see a whole journey there of techniques and. Yes, here, here is Frank Wash, is from my window, and uh, this is Chris. <laughs> Oh, and we have the other ones. Let's see what is the other. And these are hobby crafts. I bought the hobby crafts. Ah, my first one was in that church, you see. So, oh, so yes. Just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's lovely. And this is the, the retreat. The, the retreat. Oh, the Ramblers retreat. Ramblers. That was just oh, the best, wasn't yeah. it? It was lovely when, when that festival. Yes, that was about a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah. I didn't see it painted here, but sure I have painted. Yours is very good. With oh, the charcoal one. The charcoal I really one enjoyed really doing is. that. Yeah. It all smudged in the end, but and that's Wedgwood, isn't it? Oh yes. Oh, Wedgwood was a good one. Yes. In the library. Yeah. See, so I recognise more than Stoke Market with the umbrellas. Oh yeah, that was fantastic. That's, you really got the. I remember there. yours was so good as well. Ah, oh, this is the next. Oh yeah, <laughs> that yeah, that windy cold day. This was um, that challenge. You have to, to to draw yourself. Oh, challenge. one of the yeah, the um, oh, indoor sorry, Victorian botany. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was really trying is. to do different ones just to realize different shapes in the they're all just so yeah. <laughs> and try to work out which is part of which flower. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I was like to go really close and be like, where are you? 